Hi Sagittarius and welcome to your weekly tarot reading. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope that you're doing really, really well for this reading. This is a general reading for any sun, moon or rising Sagittarius sign. We're going to look at the cards. We're going to get a sense of the awareness for the week or the big ideas, guidance and possible outcomes. Okay. So in terms of awareness for the week, we have the queen of swords and the eight of cups. So the queen of swords is appears to be a quite a stern figure, no nonsense to the point and holding that really sharp blade. And so whether this is someone within your life, uh, your family at the office within, you know, your environment, it's someone who is pretty to the point can be very blunt and makes decisions that are generally fair and based on evidence, based on facts, based on reason, not so emotional, not, um, not taken in by an emotional story, but really kind of the right there. Here's the facts. And this is what you need to do. Sometimes we need a message like that. We need to hear something that ha it's very clear, direct, and based on, you know, what's really happening based on the facts, based, based on what you see. And so she's decisive. She's able to problem solve and she's doing so with smarts and with reason. So it's to use your head as you are dealing with the scenarios and the things that you're facing for the week. So another piece of this queen of swords is that there's a no nonsense to her which is cutting out the BS, cutting out the nonsense, the toxic things that go on in relationships, in office dynamics, in family dynamics. So this energy of this queen or these attributes of this queen may very well be helping shape the decisions behind the eight of cups. So with the eight of cups, we see the person leaving behind eight full cups and leaving under the moon with the walking stick. And that's that. And that's it. A couple things come to mind. This can be a situation where you've really had enough and you're not satisfied. You're not feeling fulfilled. You're not feeling good. And you're going to move on. You're going to hit the road. And all you need is your walking stick. You're like, I'm leaving it all behind. Because ultimately, People want to feel satisfied. They want to feel delight. They want abundance and joy for their spirit. So maybe something's missing that you have to leave behind. For some, it may be that you need time away from a situation, that you need some solitude in order to think, in order to think like the queen. And after this period of thinking, perhaps you're in a position to return. Solitude's not a bad thing. Taking a weekend for yourself to work through some matters is not a bad thing. And here's this eight of cups, which is leaving to get some time alone. So possible transition. I would also say that if it's a, something like a, a negative gossipy situation at the office, you may just remove yourself from it temporarily, that you really have no need for that and you're going to get out of it for a bit. On a literal level, could suggest travel, <laughs> that you could be taking a trip. So now let's take a look at guidance for the week. So in terms of guidance, we have our pentacle suit showing up strong. We have the 10 of pentacles and we have the queen of pentacles. And the 10 of pentacles uh, indicates for you that you need to pay mind and be uh, attentive to family matters, family matters when it comes to your resources. So that would include, um, uh, checking on your savings making sure that the, the cars are taken care of, that there's oil in the tank or oil filters been changed. It's 
checking in on investments or perhaps with a lawyer on estate matters. Um, there's legacy within this illustration. There's the patriarch, the couple, the child, and the pet. And then the house with all of the, the uh, pentacles. So there's uh, a focus here on resources and ensuring that all the hard work that you do is going for the benefit of your family, the extended family as well. So you may be working hard to save for a child's education or taking care of an elderly parent or grandparent. But the focus is on, on the resources of the, and the comfort of the family. And there is a sense of comfort here. There is abundance when we see ten pentacles. It's a matter of being mindful of it and managing it. And then the queen of pentacles is here and pragmatic, down to earth energy, kind, considerate, helpful, nurturing to those that she loves, nurturing to her family. And so I see this as very much as taking care of family, showing a lot of love to family. She's also a lover of nature. And again, the spirit of abundance. She likes nice things and it's, it's important to have beauty at home. This can be a week where maybe you are doing something to beautify the home, maybe working in the garden, fixing something in the house, buying new, buying just a little new pillow or something, an accent pillow to, to liven up the home. So this, uh, following this practical, practical mindset, and energy of being able to handle a lot of different tasks and do them well, but mostly coming from a place of, of love and comfort. So let's see what we have in terms of possible outcomes. So we have the star, Major Arcana, and we have the Eight of Rods. So the star, a beautiful card, and we see the star here, water flowing from her hands, and we see the star illuminating, giving guidance. We look to the stars for guidance. We um, make a wish upon a star. And so with this star card, there's a sense here of how we think about things. And often, um, you know, it may show up after, after a challenging time. The star is about having faith and optimism in your future. And you believe that everything is going to work out okay. You have the strong sense of faith and optimism that the universe knows what it's doing. And so this, it's really a quiet energy of time to feel reflective, perhaps to go with the flow, to um, allow yourself to restore, to feel restored. But mostly it's the optimism within your heart that everything is going to be okay. So interesting that it's below here, the Eight of Cups, and that the decisions that you make, that if you are leaving behind a situation that everything is going to work out. If you're leaving behind a situation in order to gain solitude and to come back, there's also a sense here that everything will work out. And then finally, we have the Eight of Rods. And so the Eight of Rods, we see the rods either hurtling down or they're being launched upward. This represents, it could be news coming your way, it could be an opportunity, it could be a form of communication, email, an invitation. There's a sense of things becoming more active for you. After this period of stillness, you're getting back in the game and maybe you're doing things that are related for the benefit of your family, um, benefit for yourself too, because this is really can be self-preservation. With this eight of rods, pay attention to how you communicate through email, text, phone calls, whatever it may be. And uh, also I would just say that it's 
the idea of motion, of things moving, of feeling more active, things speeding up. Maybe there are new projects on the horizon for you that you're hoping to um, undertake. Maybe you uh, have new things that you want to accomplish with respect to your family. So interesting spread for you. Let's get a little more information from the Oracle cards. This will be uh, an affirmation for the week. Embracing enthusiasm, shout to the heavens with happiness. So it's the enthusiasm of life. And again, uh, the, what I would say is that with this Eight of Cups, perhaps that enthusiasm was missing. And you feel you need to leave a situation in order to find it. And enthusiasm and excitement and passion for life is important. And it's not something to be set aside or to, or to be repressed. Allow whatever's going on to come through. You're using your head. You may be gaining support from loving friends or family. Uh, your families that you're on your mind. And you're in a place where you're going to be able to heal. And believe and the optimism that happiness is going to be yours. Whoops, and then over <laughs> this way. Let me choose a card for love. You let the energy of love guide you to self-approval so that others no longer define who you are. And that's a very interesting card. Again, satisfaction, eight of cups, the lack of satisfaction. You have to find and you have to look for the path that's going to make you feel fulfilled and make you feel happy. So this is what I have for you for the week. I hope that you found something helpful here with this reading. If you did, please subscribe, like this video, share this video, comment below. I hope you have a great week and I look forward to seeing you next week. Take care. Bye-bye.